All right, we start uh, with NVIDIA. Why not? Which is uh, trading higher on a bullish call. B of A Securities raising its price target on the tech giant to $190 from $165, reiterating its buy rating. The firm calling NVIDIA a, quote, generational opportunity with a huge competitive advantage in a growing market. The stock already up nearly 180% just this year. And that's after last year where it's something like tripled. Now, here's the analyst behind that call, Vivek. Aria. Vivek, welcome. Good to have you with us. Thank you for having me. You know, I guess the, the, the question in reply to the idea, I have no, no question that, that, that NVIDIA is going to be a great company uh, for a long time to come. But it has already had that generational moment, it would seem to me. So how do you, how do you see it moving multiples higher from here, generationally, I suppose? Tyler, let me uh, actually tell you a story first. Um, so, sure. you know, the first commercial internet service started in the U.S. in 1989. Um, Amazon uh, started in 94, Google in 98, and Meta in 2004. The point here is that, you know, you don't just have one or two-year technology cycles when you are investing in these uh, real big changes uh, to the technological infrastructure. And we think generative AI is one of those really big uh, technological uh, changes, that is going to take time to play out. It is true that it is in, insanely computationally intensive. You need a very uh, strong linkages, uh, linkage between the silicon, the system, the software, the developers. They all need to uh, come together. But this is not something that will just start and end in one or two years. And specific to NVIDIA, um, in the last uh, two weeks, uh, we had the chance to meet with uh, we had the chance to interact with and listen to a number of uh, companies in the supply chain to their competitors. And what is coming out very loud and clear is that the opportunity is much larger, their competitive position is uh, much stronger. And then finally, when I look at uh, the stock, right, we have a stock that is trading less than one times earnings growth. And if you were to take an average of the other so-called max seven, they are trading at 1.9 times uh, their uh, average earnings growth for next year. That is why we think that uh, we are in front of a large opportunity, the company is executing well, and the valuation is very compelling, even at these levels. Vivek, let me ask you, today is interesting because NVIDIA is doing well, but the rest of the semis are actually struggling, and the SOX is lower. What, what explains that? Yes, Kelly, I think, uh, you know, this week uh, we had uh, the start of uh, earnings. Uh, we had uh, one very tough report from ASML. Very. Uh, then we had a very strong report from uh, TSMC. Uh, next week, we will have a number of other earnings report from uh, semiconductor companies. And the challenge the industry is facing is that this, you know, one shiny area of AI is doing uh, extremely well, but it is less than 20% of the overall industry, whereas the rest of the industry, which has to do with industrial and automotive and PC and smartphone demand, that is just not doing as well. So I think it, it's possible that uh, investors are taking a wait-and-see uh, uh, attitude uh, before uh, we get into the heart of this uh, earnings season. So I think it's that kind of very uh, normal uh, earnings uh, volatility that we uh, usually see. Yeah. How wide and deep is the NVIDIA moat? Sure. Um, you know, so what I think AI is uh, telling us is that it is not just good enough to be a chip maker. Right, that you need to make sure that you can scale these chips across the system, that you have software that can be optimized to deliver the best computational performance, that you are taking uh, care of all the energy uh, right, and the power uh, requirements, that you're working at scale uh, with the supply chain in Asia, and then importantly, that you're working with an enterprise uh, ecosystem. You know, a few days ago, we saw NVIDIA signing the relationship with Accenture, uh, who will train uh, thousands of people to go and deploy NVIDIA-based systems. So I think it takes that end-to-end -end knowledge, and only one company today is able to uh, deliver that. And this is not something you overcome in a day or a year or, or, or two mm -hmm. or three years, mm -hmm. because NVIDIA has been investing in this kind of silicon and software right from the days when they were uh, just a gaming uh, company. You know, their, their core operating system called CUDA uh, came out over a dozen years ago. So that's the kind of advantage and lead that they have built, uh, both in terms of their early investments in software and today their scale and incumbency and partnerships with a number of these uh, enterprise software companies and consulting companies.